Et bien ici, FTL, moi, et le grand film Chenon. I think it's important to go back to history. Um, you know, um, a wise man says that <coughs> those who knows the past will be able to uh, conquer the future. Um, I, I think important for us to go back to history to understand um, when it was, uh, why it was set up, and, and, and what it was. If you remember, in 2004, the um, prime minister at that time, uh, Tun Abdul Badawi, um, came up with a, uh, I think it's very comprehensive uh, plan. I think we are the only country in the world that has this, uh, the National Integrity Plan, uh, known as PIN, uh, the Plan Integrity National. Uh, PIN uh, basically has provided us um, a framework of what are the things we need to understand, what are, where are the, the, the signage, what are the, the potential problems, and what are the things to do. So there's an action plan that comes with it. So together with the plan, The Malaysian Institute of Integrity was set up in 2004, on the same day, to um, coordinate, monitor the implementation of the plan. So that was the, the main role of the Institute. So uh, <clears throat> it has been for the last, uh, now this is the 12th year, the Institute has been around, uh, coordinating, um, monitoring and helping to initiate some program. Because, see, sometimes some of the things that uh, we see in the plan, Uh, are not being carried out because for some reason perhaps some uh, of the implementing agency are not aware um, or they are not sure how to go about. So then uh, Integrity plays this role to initiate some of this initiative and hand over to uh, the implementing agency so that they can continue. So there are many of these kind of things that we have been doing in the past. Uh, I think the, the, the role uh, as we move on Uh, we have to also see what other emerging issues that we need to position ourselves. Um, we cannot continue to be doing what we've been doing and, or how we've been doing because we need to uh, find many other ways of uh, what. I think understanding the past is important but looking in the future, uh, if I can jump and, and, and tell you what I have done since I took office. Yeah, but uh, just maybe before that, so uh, uh, it would then connote that uh, integrity is uh, what would it mean that it's, it's a policy hub, policy making uh, center uh, or is it uh, a center that is uh, generating and devising various uh, products or tools this is what I, i'm moving gearing towards uh, in, i think in the past the role has been um, coordinating and monitoring and, and uh, initiating implementing so uh, some new ideas if we talk about um, Is Integrity a training uh, institute? It is not, because the training institute uh, is like intern. These are the kind of training institute. Uh, we do initiate some, we, we do do some, some training for trainers. Right. Uh, we, we are moving in the ways of preparing trainers all over the country so that these people can help uh, push the message and, 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 and help to, to spread uh, the word. Um, we ourselves uh, are preparing ourselves to do more advanced type of, of, of training for leaders, um, you know, so that you are penetrating uh, top level, bottom. But at the same time, the policy uh, type work is very important because who, who then will be focusing on issues related to integrity and finding some solution and making recommendations to the government. So we are now moving, preparing uh, policy recommendation type uh, papers to the government. Uh, as a way of uh, understanding what are the issues and what are the good things that we can do in order to, to, to address some of the problems. So, um, the, the way to go about is that uh, while country, the main uh, outcome is to become, uh, you know, I think uh, you know very well that the whole effort is aligned to the vision 2020 of the nation. Challenge number four. Uh, challenge number four. But how do you through translate, how do you explain How do we get to challenge number four to address, to, to achieve that? So <clears throat> the, the National Integrity Plan somehow has beefed up in terms of that, that vision, uh, the challenge number four that we want to achieve in terms of the plan. But now moving forward is that how do you make sure these things are achieved? So uh, <clears throat> to become a high integrity nation with resilient and uh, whatnot, It's, it's easy to say, but creating that society because our role uh, is not only focusing on the public sector. 
See, you, you, we are targeting uh, all sectors of society. If you look at the National Integrity Plan, there are eight sectors of society, including the politics, uh, the private sector, the economy institution, religious institution, social culture institution, family institution, so you name it. Every sector is uh, being represented.